Father Robert from Gadget at the techstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at the Interop Hot Stage at a super secret warehouse in Northern California for Interop Makes You Smarter. I'm sitting next to Tyler Vanderplug. I said that right, right? That's right. Yeah. From JDSU. Now, they're one of Interop's sponsors this year, and um, well, they've got a little something something for those who might be writing dirty with their fiber. Tyler, thank you very much for coming on camera. Yeah, you bet. One of the things that we see here at Interop, which is kind of unique to our environment, uh, is that we have to build, tear down, rebuild, tear down again, and then store kilometers of fiber in order to get all the connectivity around our show floor. What are the ramifications of, of doing that? Well, whenever you're dealing with connectivity, every single connection, we love connections because yeah. of the flexibility of associated course, with course. them. You can build the network, tear it down, move it, and that's why we love connections so much. But anytime you're handling fiber specifically with those connections, that's an opportunity to contaminate the, the, the connection inside there. And contamination is actually the number one source of troubleshooting in optical networks today. And so whenever you're dealing with, uh, whenever you're dealing with connectors, you need to make sure that those end faces are clean. Uh, if you're not cleaning them, uh, you're introducing a lot of risk for increased loss in, in damage and in, in troubleshooting to your network. Yeah. Now we have been using these uh, Systemax modules for, for a few years now and, and they're, they're lifesavers. We wouldn't be able to set up the show unless we had them. And it involves an umbilical that, that runs the length of the show floor and, and then these capped off ports. Um, you've been finding something interesting as you've been going through our gear. What, what exactly have you seen? Well, uh, these, these, these cassettes are very fast and easy and people love them for that reason. Uh, but what I find is, as I'm going through these right now, we, we need to make sure that all these connections are clean before we ever connect them. I've actually found that every single one of them is actually contaminated. Um, now, this is, this is no fault of the manufacturer. In fact, it probably left their facility in perfectly clean condition. Yeah. Yeah. But what's happened is, you know, whether it's the oils and the dust caps and things like that. Or lack of dust caps as we store them. <laughs> exactly. Over time, uh, uh, debris and contamination just develops on the end face of the connectors located behind the bulkhead. If you were to connect that one, that port, with a, with a fiber connector, now you've embedded that dirt in there, and now that stuff is a lot harder to get off, if at all. Really, how does that affect connectivity? I mean, as you're looking at, at these, uh, these ports, and as you're looking at our fiber, what's the difference between a, a clean port and a dirty port? Sure, sure. It all really comes down to loss budget. I mean, you look at any network, whether it's a small one or a big one like we have here at Interop, uh, there's so much bandwidth that's been budgeted from the beginning right. for, uh, all the way to the end, and you've got to make sure that you're, getting, you're, get, you're sending your signal all the way to that last fiber, and you, you've, you've got your budget in place. A typical uh, piece of contamination on the core of a fiber, that could introduce up to 5 dB of loss just on one fiber. Now give me, give me that in real world terms. So let's say I've added 5 dB of loss and, and multiplied it by as many times as I've patched the signal through. What kind of throughput loss am I looking at? You won't get your signal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's 100%. All right. Inspecting and cleaning doesn't take very long if you're doing it proactively. Right. If, right. Uh, the, if, you, haven't made the con if you haven't made the connectors on yet, the dirt comes right off. The, the bigger problem actually comes when you've actually connected them and now you're dealing with that, that stubborn stuff that's embedded in there. Exactly. However, if you've got a good mentality in place of proactively inspecting before you're connecting, or as I like, we like to say, inspect before you connect, <laughs> um, it actually goes pretty easy. Now, a lot of people don't like to do it just because they either perceive it as too many tools to carry or taking too much time. So we've developed a lot of tools uh, that make things easier for people. What you're holding in your hand right there is actually a probe microscope. This allows the technician to inspect the connector located behind the bulkhead. So you just simply insert that special tip right on the end of a bulkhead port. That's actually for an SC right oh, there. Right, right, right. Uh, you insert that in there, uh, you get into focus, and you can look at the end face of the connector right on the screen. If, if you use a combination of either a regular just cleaning device like we have here, or when that stuff is really stubborn, you introduce some solvent into that. You use a, what we call a wet to dry cleaning process. Uh, it usually comes right off, and then we always recommend after you've cleaned it, reinspect it again, because there's a lot of good cleaning tools out there, but nothing is foolproof or perfect. So you always want to inspect it afterwards and just make sure you got it. Okay. Now Tyler, a uh, big question. If they want to find out more about cleaning, if they want to find out more about what JDSU can do for their fiber plants, where should they go? Sure. You can always go to our website, jdsu.com, or even more specifically, go to jdsu.com slash inspect. 
Tyler, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. We're going to see more of your tools. We're going to be using them throughout the show. And you stay tuned because we've got more. Interrupt makes you smarter.